to complete this map, but this map is that type of style. Uh, this map has a lot of side areas into it, but you do not need to go through most of the, the rooms to get to the keys. And pre as a matter of fact, also, most of the time, the, the gold key door is always opening up because of how busy that hallway is where the gold key is. And what's also a disadvantage is there's not a lot of health and ammo in this map to begin with. Some, but not enough, I don't think. Especially for the really big, like, centerpiece of the room. That room is loaded. It is packed with a ton of guards in there. And you want to be very careful. You're definitely going to have to backtrack a lot. That room is like fighting a boss. And if you are not prepared at all for that, you're going to be for a heck of a time trying to get past this map. And then, of course, there's a lot of guards in all of the rooms. So none of these rooms are to be taken for granted. I repeat. None of these rooms are to be taken for granted because you can never know what you can come up on. There's guards right around the corner, there's guards in front of you, there's guards behind you. So you have to use your health and ammo wisely. And even the two secret areas in this map, you do not want to fool around and waste all that stuff. Maybe I should have kept one of those other one ups, but then again, the one thing I do not like about backtracking to that after being farther out for a while is that. The guards are going to get all over the place, and that's what makes this map harder. The guards can get all over the place if you backtrack a lot. So now we will move on to floor 3. In the next video, we're getting closer and closer to the end. I am the Club of the Man, 1993.